What's going on guys, it's Alex from Everything for iPod and today I'm here to show you some really cool great tips and tricks on how to use Notification Center as well as how to set up some things in Notification Center in the all new Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Notification Center is a great way to keep up with everything in your life and I really love that Apple added this to the newest version of Mac OS X but there are a few things that you should do to make it a better experience for you so let's get right into it. The first thing is how to actually get to Notification Center. It isn't the easiest thing in the world. One of two ways is to one, click on this little icon, which you do need to kind of slow your cursor down and make sure you actually tap that exact icon in the menu bar. And the other way is to swipe with two fingers from the right of the trackpad, sorry, over to the left, and that will bring it up. But that only works with the trackpad, so if you're using an actual mouse, that will not work. So I think the best way is actually to use something called Hot Corners, which a lot of people don't know about. So head into System Preferences and then into Desktop and Screensaver. Make sure you're on the Screensaver tab and then select Hot Corners. We're going to set a hot corner for the top right hand corner to go to Notification Center and then just click OK. So now when you just scroll your mouse cursor up to the top right hand corner, you will see that it will bring up Notification Center and if you just move your mouse cursor right back up there to the top, it will go away. And to me, that is the easiest way to get to Notification Center, whether you're using a trackpad or an actual mouse. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is how to use Twitter. So from the beginning, you can see that there is no Twitter option to tweet like Apple advertised right from Notification Center. And um, so you actually do have to set that up. So head into System Preferences and then into Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. And you're going to be able to set up your account. So click on Twitter and type in your Twitter handle. So mine is everything for iPod. If you haven't followed me, Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, links in the description to my um, Twitter timeline. And then type in your password and it will sign you in. And that's pretty much it. So now you can go and see that click to tweet is there and you can go ahead and just tweet right from the notification center. And I will have to say that when this fall, when Facebook sharing is added to notification center, it probably will be using the same method. So if we actually go into notifications in system preferences, we can actually edit what you see, whether you see an alert, none, or just a banner, and just some, change some settings for all the different apps and what you see in notification center. So that's really good as well. And you can also change to sort it manually or by time. So the next thing is how to change the background of Notification Center. If you look at it, it's kind of gray, kind of boring, and you might want to spice it up a little bit. So there's this great application that you can download from the internet. Links in the description. It makes it really easy to change your background, and it's called NC Backgrounder. Again, the link is in the description. And when you just open it up, you see the simple but... Uh, useful interface and if you select the background tab you can select a custom background and here it will bring you to desktop pictures but you can choose just any picture on your computer I'm going to choose this sky picture and then select choose you're gonna have to type in your password and once you do if you go into notification center you can see it changed it to an image and this just adds a lot of creativity and it just looks a lot nicer than that crazy or not even crazy but boring uh, I don't know why I said crazy, but boring background and makes it crazy this way. So it looks a lot nicer in my opinion. And you can also change the same thing for banners. So that's the little thing that pops up here when you first get a notification. And if you ever want to change it back, just hit default, type in your password again, and you are right back to where you started off. Really easy to do. And it's really simple and best of all, free. So the last thing is using Growl and Notification Center, using an application called Hiss. Um, when you go into it, you can check or don't check for updates automatically. This is the first time I'm opening it on this computer because I already do have it on my iMac. I'm just going to say check automatically, but what it basically does is takes all your Growl notifications. And if you don't know what Growl is, it was basically a notification system that uh, was for the Mac long before Notification Center came out. And not all third-party apps are compatible with Notification Center yet, but most do use Growl. So what you can do is download Hiss, hit Start, and then just basically X out of it, and it will forward all of your Hiss notifications to go straight to Notification Center. 
It makes it less confusing, that way you don't have notification center and growl notifications, you just have it all in one place, which is a lot nicer. That's pretty much it for now, guys. I'm going to have much more mountain lion coverage to come. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. Again, follow me on Twitter. Everything for iPod links in the description. And I will put download links to NC Backgrounder and Hiss down below as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And I will catch you in my next one.